Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with an especially useless new release featuring Francois Xavier Roth, Roth, however you want to pronounce him, and the London Symphony Orchestra doing Strauss's Also Sarah Sprach. Yes, Also Sprach Zarathustra. That's the word. And DBC's Je. What a perfect coupling, right? Ugh. I mean, you know, two pieces that, well, they were written around the same time. Well, not really, about 20 years apart. No, they have a lot in common stylistically. No. Um, one is a ballet, one is a tone poem. And, and here's the stupid thing. Roth has recorded both previously. Now, let's let's talk tachlis, as they say in Yiddish. Do you see lines of people at your local record emporium or at your local streaming service online just just salivating to get the latest remake of the same stuff that Roth did without any particular authority previously? Huh? Do you? I don't. Anyway, let's let's talk about the performances. Well, they're not any different from his previous performances. Also Sprach Zarathustra was part of a Richard Strauss tone poem series that he did for Hensler. I have it sitting right over there. Um, and the performance is almost exactly the same in its shape. Um, it's glib. It's very quick. I mean, the opening sunrise is as quick a sunrise as you've ever heard. It has no majesty whatsoever. The ensuing adagio, which is part of the dwellers of the underworld or whatever the hell that silly thing is, um, that is just lickety split. I, it, it's it's just fast. It, it has no other quality about it than speed. And, you know, as so often with this work, particularly in Zarathustra, sonics are an issue. I mean, it's it's recorded well in loud bits, but otherwise it becomes very diffuse and very cloudy. I mean, the opening of that slow fugue in the first part, do, 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 do. I mean, it builds up from like a solo double bass through all the strings. I mean, it's practically inaudible. The dance song in the second part, I mean, it's just, it's just, tossed off. I mean, of course, the music itself is kind of trite, but you can do more with it. That's the point. You do hear the bell chime when it chimes, which is a good thing. But otherwise, I mean, this is a completely pointless performance of Zarathustra. If you have Roth's first one, you don't need this one. The playing isn't notably better. The sound isn't notably better. The interpretation is just as uninteresting. So that brings us to Je. Now, Je. Mm, je is legendary. As some of you may know, it's a ballet about nocturnal goings on on a tennis court. Ooh. Nobody's quite sure what goes on at the tennis court. And the piece itself is enig enigmatic, encapsulated. There's no way to do it badly, really. It all depends on the playing. That's really what it comes down to. I mean, interpretively, there's nothing to interpret. And the piece always sounds the same, no matter who plays it. And it's not one of those things that allows you lots of, you know, leeway or freedom in terms of your particular view of it or to have a conception or to give it some kind of unusual expressive point. It's just a weird, creepy, rhythmic study. That's what je is. It lasts like, what, you know, 15 minutes, 18 minutes? Who cares? Anyway, so he did it before for Harmonia Mundi with his period instrument group, De Siecle. I mean, there's no point in doing it on period instruments. It doesn't sound any different. It's the same mysterious little blob of music. And so um, what is there to say about this particular performance? Absolutely nothing. There is no important way in which it's different or better or worse or other or anything than any other 
decent recording of je. And most of them are decent because people either do it well or they don't bother. I mean, that's the bottom line with it, you know? Some people, of course, will have very strong views on how je should go. I mean, you know, they could jump up and down and carry on all they want about this je versus that je. My particular view is je is je, and so it always sounds Jewish. Well, you know what I mean. So that's the bottom line. Waste of time, waste of effort, completely useless. Keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.